On April 2nd, residents who live in the DeForest Area School District will be asked to vote on two referendum questions, one for facilities and the other for operations. You can learn much more on the referendum website, including nearly 45 frequently asked questions about the planning process and proposed solutions, financial information, and more. Today we will answer a few questions about the proposed solutions at the high school. Well, first of all, we have about 500 kids per lunch that are in here each day. We have two lunches right now um, that are each about 40 minutes long. And so when you look at serving 500 kids in that amount of time, it gets a little crunched in here. First of all, for space. Secondly, for just time for kids to eat and, and staff to eat because we have two serving lines basically that go through the main area, um, serving you know each line about half of that number. And uh, we serve about 680 meals per day, or 80, 680 entrees, I guess, per day. Uh, some of those including full meals. And so it, it's, it's a space issue and it's a time issue because if we look at, by the time kids get through, um, everybody gets through, there's probably about at least half of the time gone. So that leaves 15 to 20 minutes for those that are at the end of the line left to eat. So how did this idea of a learning comment to help kind of arrest? Um, well, you know, a learning commons would, first of all, just make the space a whole lot more flexible for students to have access to the library if need be um, during this lunch period time or during this free time, um, much more accessible so that they can move back and forth between the cafeteria and the library and have access to those resources. Um, it would also make it more feasible for groups of students to work together um, and, and have access for other reasons as well. Um, and other uses that we have in the building. So I think it just um, makes it more flexible and easy to access both spaces. In addition, I think that it, help, it would help our kids be more prepared for college in the real world because um, that's one of the things that we hear frequently is that when you get out into the real world, we need students who are able to collaborate, work as teams. Um, those are some of the very highly valued skills. So, you know, we could create that right within the space. As we have grown as a community through the years, um, the demand for gym space has increased uh, each year. And um, with the lack of space, uh, we, we have a lot of difficult time fitting in teams for practices. Um, also our community use, um, many of the people do get uh, denied because we just don't have the space. Some of the reasons our pool needs to be replaced is we have some aging infrastructure. Um, starting blocks have been uh, welded on multiple times. We've had some mounting issues with it that have been repaired. Um, we also have the pool basin that's sunk in the far corner, um, leaving us some dry areas for uh, the skimmer, which uh, leads to circulation problems for the filter. Um, and we also have uh, some water infiltration through the grout um, into the rebar uh, reinforcing the concrete. Um, you can see that um, on the steps where the rust is bleeding through. Um, so we do have some issues with, with concrete failing. The locker rooms also have issues with ADA accessibility all the way from clearances and turning radiuses, um, fixtures that are not accessible, um, lockers that aren't accessible, um, the toilet facilities. Um, don't meet any kind of uh, requirements for ADA. We have a hard time for a person with a wheelchair moving around in there. So um, those need to be have a major upgrade. Our current swim pool, which is a six lane pool, um, doesn't meet the needs of our athletic teams or our community needs. Um, an eight lane pool would certainly enhance those opportunities for both. Uh, we have very limited on deck space and um, because of that, we have to move our spectators into a balcony, which has um, really bad sight lines uh, for pool viewing. The second referendum question is for an operating referendum. For the high school, there is a portion in that question that will cover the cost to operate the additional square footage of the high school. The additional square footage for the pool and the three-station gym will all require funds for utilities, for maintenance, for cleaning, and for staffing those 
those spaces. You can learn more by visiting www.dasdreferendum.org or just point your smartphone camera at the QR code.